Excuse me. I'm the new substitute. Could you tell me where I'd find Mr. Price, the principal? Thank you. gentlemen doing here? Why aren't you in class? <laughs> oh, see, you don't know this because you're a substitute, but we don't have class today. It's been dismissed. <laughs> Who's your teacher? Why aren't you gentlemen in class today? Our class has been dismissed. Do you need me to spell it out for you? D E S something. Here, read this instead. Now you're dismissed. Fuck you very much. <laughs> The enemy is before me, around me, and yet no fear will I have. My mission is met. Death is my mission. My mission is met. <laughs> Last warning. Now, will you please get to class? <laughs> on their way to class. Isn't that right, gentlemen? Yeah, right. 
D-E-D, lock phrase. Forest slash megatech slash ash. This is Gordon D. Ash, special investigator for the Department of Educational Defense. After two years of intense searching, I'm certain I finally located it. As is known, this situation began with Professor Bob Forrest and his plan to turn military battle androids into special teachers that would go into the worst schools to teach and enforce discipline when necessary. Unknown at the time was the fact that Forrest programmed these droids with his own twisted sense of discipline, turning them into cold or whatever bloody killers. The droids focused on the school children as the enemy, not as students. It was assumed that all droids were destroyed along with their brilliant but demented creator. policy is that you back away from confrontation, Bolin. Damn it! You do not beat the hell out of the students. First, there was that incident with Ray Buchanan, then this. Discipline is necessary to maintain order. Order is necessary to prevent anarchy. Look, you find some reality to hold on to here, Bolin. Look, if President Clinton hadn't been indicted and his education programs had gone through, well, I'm gonna have to suspend you. Now, for some reason, your file is incomplete. So I'm gonna need more information on you. Stop the fire! I wonder if Mr. Terminator's bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> Evidence now indicates that a unit may have been left behind in an underground bunker. And roaming free, it continues to kill. There are no photos of this unit. Therefore, the situation has been slow to resolve. But these latest leads are very promising indeed. Dad, 
that cat? Scratched me once. How you doing, Miss McKenzie? What are you doing here, Sanders? You're suspended. You're not supposed to be on school grounds. Got to keep up with my homework, you know? Speaking of which, how about coming over and tutoring me sometime? You looked awful good in those gray, tight little jogging pants you had on this morning. Mm. I'm not afraid of you, Sanders. No? No. Get your foot up your ass to go with him, Holmes. Banging in parking lots ain't my style, Grazer. Style? You? I don't think so. <laughs> what biting, satiric wit! Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck you. What a biting, satiric comeback. What the hell's the matter with you? The smell of testosterone in the morning. Yum. Oh, come on, what was I supposed to do? Just stand there and let him molest you? Sanders isn't gonna hurt me, Emmett. He isn't that stupid. I don't know. That's strange, dude. Well, come on. My name is John Bolin. I'm a substitute teacher for Mr. Reese. We're all fucking thrilled. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Who are you? Last name first, first name last. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dennis Tiller. No, Tiller Dennis, I think. Now, I don't know what you may have done previous to this, but while you're in my class, the young men will act like gentlemen. And the young ladies will blow us later. <laughs> I also expect homework to be done neatly, properly, and turned in on time. Who did that? All right, it's my book, but I didn't do it. Mr. Tiller, please report yourself to the principal's office now. Open your accounting books and read the chapter on the collapse of Japanese control over the computer and car...
I just want to check on your end of it, Jenna. It's just, oh, well, honey, Mr. Baldwin felt that maybe... Come on, boys, spit it out. I do have a class to teach. Did you see what happened to the gym last night? Broken windows, spray painting, and your name was on everything, Jenna, and not in a complimentary sort of way. Oh, so, uh, I'm to blame for vandalism now. I want you to seriously reconsider testifying Monday against Sanders. It's hurting your effectiveness as a teacher. The students feel that you're persecuting Sanders for what everyone but you says is an accident. Sanders reaches into his backpack, pretends to accidentally discharge a gun into another student's stomach. And you want me to just forget about it? You are the only one who's saying that it wasn't an accident. I am the only one who saw him aiming that gun inside the backpack. I... I can't believe you can't see how manipulative Sanders is. What I can see is that this whole thing could blow up right in our faces because of you. The police aren't even holding on to the boy for his arraignment. That's how convinced they are that, that this whole thing was a tragic accident. This is crazy. I don't have to justify myself to you or anybody else. I saw what I saw. A little common sense and cooperation can go a long way, especially when you come up for review soon. Gee, thanks for your support. I'll see you later. Honey. You like tormenting people? You hit me in the face, you son of a bitch! Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to do this. Sadistic behavior should not be condoned, especially when you're not trained to do it properly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please! I didn't mean to do it! I sent the student to the principal's office. I have no idea why he went up to the roof or what he was doing up there. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you if you have any more questions, but it seems to me like some sort of weird accident. I found what I thought was ethyl digimesetol up there. Edge. Right, Edgehead. Had some in his pocket. He was probably high as a kite. Dumb way to die. <laughs> but of course, so I guess there's no smart way, is there? Nice to meet you. Are you special forces? No. There's a junior ROTC group here in case you're interested. Or not, if that's the case. Okay, if I join you? If I ate like that, I'd be... 
I convert food to fuel very rapidly. It's almost nuclear. I, um, I wanted to explain about this morning in the classroom. You've probably heard about this trial by now. Maybe everybody's right about me not testifying. No, they're not. If you allow a student to gain control of a situation, the result is anarchy. Anyone who's telling you not to testify is wrong. Just like that. Just like that. So you're in charge of chaperones at the ROTC paintball skirmish this weekend? Yeah, my friend Emmett Grazier owns the grounds. It was his idea and he brought it to the school board and... Well, I'd like to offer my help if I can, as long as I'm here. Great, sure. You'd be more than welcome. Do you have some sort of military experience? Some. So, um, are you from around here? No. Teach in the area before? No. Okay. Um, come see me later for a chaperone info sheet. If I'm correct in my assumptions, the normal mode of operation for this particular battle droid will be to cap off a series of onesie-twosie murders with a mass kill, and then just move on to its next teaching assignment. Come on, Jenna, don't be mad. Baldwin ambushed me when I went in there to talk about this weekend. Oh, and what did he threaten you with, Emmett? Detention if you didn't side up with him and gang up on me? I didn't side. You're either going to support my decision or you're not. What's it going to be? I said I would. You said, but you're not acting like it. So I want to know from you, one way or another, where you stand. You're right, I should have told him to go shove it. Wouldn't have been the first time. Probably would have tried to give you permanent detention. Like when we were in school. I don't know why you like me, Jenna. You're a teacher, I barely graduated. Mm -hmm. You read the classics. I'm strictly Simpsons reruns. But I couldn't care about anybody more. You know that, don't you? I like you because you have a good heart. And because you're not afraid to admit when you're wrong. That's a very sexy quality. On the side of Sacramento, cowboy. <laughs> this is consistent with its original battle programming, which was to infiltrate the enemy camp, test the security response. This is a very unstable unit. Stopping it might be extremely dangerous, especially if it's locked into some kind of endless loop kill command sequence, which I believe is the case. GD Ash out.
Lander said that you and I should get to know each other better. Huh? Nothing last week, Miss Mackenzie. It was a mistake. It was an accident, right? Right? You didn't see nothing last week, Miss Mackenzie. You need to take me a little more serious when I tell you something, Miss Mackenzie. See, I won't let you put me in the jail. Remember that. I just don't have the manpower to assign someone to you permanently, Jenna. I know. I'll... I'll be fine. Well, just don't get yourself hurt. Some of these boys have a real mean streak in them. Rather than making weak excuses, why aren't you doing something to help her? You don't know anything about this. There are extenuating circumstances here. The only circumstance you should be concerned with is the fact that she's doing her civic duty and you're doing nothing to support or help her. Now you wait just one minute! Could you, um, could you take me home, please? You will be going to school this morning. I... I don't think so. You have to go. Otherwise, the others will know that Sanders has won. You'll never get respect from any of them again. Look, don't... Don't patronize me. I'm not one of your students. Aren't you a little young to be a teacher anyway? Aren't you? <laughs> That's an interesting looking book. Do you mind? Homes of War, a, a little light reading. It's a good book. I didn't mean to make light of it. Can I borrow it? I promise I'll give it back. The poems help center me. My favorite is the mission. Counters. I know we're closed this weekend for a private party. Yeah, try again next week. Okay, thanks. 
What the heck is this stuff, anyway? Calvan K-33 body armor. Used by Army Special Forces. Breathable Calvan. Less than 10 pounds. Waterproof. Flame retardant. Turn back anything less than a 45 caliber round. Also knife proof. Unless a knife has an ice pick tip as it inserted between the super dense composite fibers. And it's very fashionable now. <laughs> I'm here to see the museum. Not open, sorry. Oh, this is the Special Forces guy I told you about, Emmett. Hey, you owe him anyway. He helped Jenna out of a tight spot. Jenna, what are you talking about? When she got attacked this morning. She didn't call you about it? She's fine, Emmett. Look, Emmett. Got to inspect that bunker before this weekend, or I can't allow those kids to come up here to war game. Tomorrow, Tom, I promise, all right? It was an accident. Oh, whatever. Look, man, we got to clear out of here, so, uh... So sorry to hear about what happened to you. Yeah. Oh no, it's getting kind of crazy around here. You take care of yourself. Who did this? Oh, God damn it, Jenna. What? What? What are you so mad about? Why don't you call me and tell me about this? What would you have done? I don't know. I just feel like this complete idiot. I mean, everybody knows about this except me. What bothers you more, Emmett? The fact that I was attacked or that you weren't told about it? I swear to God, I don't know anything anymore. I mean, what were you doing out here all by yourself? Gee, that's a tough one. I guess it's that I don't get nearly enough excitement in my life. Oh, I get it. We're gonna do the sarcastic thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's all my fault. I should have told Sanders not to kill that student in cold blood so you wouldn't have to be so put out by the whole thing. Maybe you should reconsider testifying. <laughs> I mean, no one but you is saying... Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, Emmett. Say it! Just take me home. I gotta stop at the trailer and pick up my overnight stuff. I, um... I don't think I want you to stay tonight, okay? Why don't you just drop me off at the sheriff's office so I can file a report about this? Hey, fine. Whatever you want. Let's do this your way, Jenna. Oh, oh, Jenna. Nice. Hello. <laughs> do you like tormenting people? Suck it. Suck it in. Punk. Yeah. <laughs> it's no fun to be afraid, to be tormented, is it? Oh, no. Go ahead. Now 
Now's your chance, Ice. Right. Even more than a bit of a discipline problem. Now we're gonna have to do something about your attitude. Come on, man! In fact, you're on permanent detention. some time by myself right now. Damn it, Emmett. Just leave it alone. I can't be with you right now. I'll be right back. What is this about? Shouldn't you have told Baldwin about this? Nah, we get those all the time through the state net. I usually trash them. <laughs> as if anything as interesting as a serial killer would ever happen in this town. Well, you know what I mean. No, uh, I'm afraid I don't. I don't think interesting is the word I'd use to describe a serial murderer. Who asked you? Stay out of my garbage. This is official trash. Not for civilian eyes. stride the path in death's shoes until the mission I conclude until the mission I conclude no sorrows or regret death is my mission my mission is met the enemy is before me around me and yet no fear what I have.
All right, you little shit. No more fucking around. You listen to me. You come near Jenna, you're gonna wind up dead. Got it? Good. You ready to go? Hey, oh, Tom, I'll be right with you. <laughs> Tom, Tom, don't use the gun. It's got the gasoline balls I made up as an experiment. What? Well, I just wanted to clear them out before the kids got here tomorrow. the bunker. Emmett, will you slow down? You're killing me. The stuff's heavy. Thank you. How far away from the trail is about half a mile? Yeah. I don't know. It seems close. Kids might find it. No, they won't. A concrete bunker and a wooden door. I got a metal one coming from Sacramento. What'd you do last night? Watch TV, huh? All right, I gave Sandra a little help. So what? You do your goddamn job right. What do you want me to do? We're looking for ice. Can't arrest Sandra for anything. He hasn't done anything, really. A lot of stuff. Yeah, buying military stuff for the museum sure does accumulate. Hey, uh, how many of these armor suits you got? I could use one. I wouldn't mind being bulletproof. Extra small surplus. Barely fit the mannequin at the museum. Wouldn't even fit you close. Hey, what's this? Uh, Tom, don't touch that. Don't touch that. This is a suicide detonator. Once it's armed, it's armed. You mean you can't turn it off? That's right. Oops. Right, oops. All right. How's it look? Everything okay. looks secure? Yeah. Okay, let's go. How are you today? I wanted to tell you I'm really enjoying that book you gave me. Oh, uh, you seem surprised. To tell you the truth, I am. I wanted to ask you about something. It was about the dedication. I bought it at a used bookstore. Oh. Do you know Ray Buchanan from another school? No. Let's go get Emmett. Mike, get on the horn and get forensics down here right away. Let me have that license plate scanner.
damn, Emmett. You should have stuck to shooting at fires. I didn't hear you come in. I was really lost in space. I just heard they arrested Emmett for the murder of the boy who attacked me last night. To tell the truth, the thing that has me most worried is that I think Emmett is totally capable of killing that boy. It's a pretty scary thought. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure I understand you. Never mind. I have to go to the jail. Will you come with me? He didn't suffer any. <laughs> Doc said his neck broke. Didn't feel a thing. Oh, I want to see Emmett. <laughs> No chance. Why not? What do you suppose he's in here for? Because of me? It's my fault? Look, if he killed that boy, he didn't kill him for anybody else. <laughs> you said it was an accident. We're not talking about him. Uh, your boy Ray just fell off his bike, Mr. Buchanan. Ray Buchanan is dead? Excuse me, Sheriff. The man you arrested for the murder of the kid. What about him? How long have you known him? Who are you? You should have got a bulletin about this yesterday. All of a sudden, you got a lot of dead kids on your hands. What are you talking about? Only one of them is a homicide. Is the man you arrested a teacher? No. What are you so interested? Hey, wait just one minute. Hey, pal. Ash? G.D. Ash. Hey! What's going on? Had to be sure. What the hell are you talking about? That's classified, Sheriff, but uh, thank you for your cooperation. I'm not going to forget about this, Tom. I know you're pissed, Emmett, but I just couldn't take a chance on this. I'm really sorry. By the way, Jenna's here. I'll send her back if you can keep civil for five minutes. Jeff Patterson down the Daisy May verified you were there all night. I said he would. Well, it's getting late. Hold up, I'll give you a ride. Come on, Emmett. Emmett, wait! <phone rings> Sheriff's office, Joe speaking. Yeah, hi, honey. They're doing what? Well, stop peeping out the window at them. I gotta go, I gotta catch up with Emmett. I didn't say that. I didn't say that Emmett's more important than you. Where'd you disappear to? 
Never mind. I'm glad you're here. I came to get my book. I almost hate to give it up. Things have been so strange and confused lately. Emmett being accused of being a serial killer. I mean, they might as well have accused you or me. After all, we're both teachers. We both knew the students who died. You even knew Ray from another school, right? I told you before I didn't know him. Can I please have my book? These poems are inspirational. Thank you for letting me read it. I feel better about what I'm going to do now. Maybe you understand the book because you're committed to doing the right thing. To duty. I don't know. I'm not even sure that I want to be a teacher anymore, but um, I don't know. Let's not talk about it, okay? Doing your duty is never easy. Nobody understands that more than I do. Jenna? You all right? Was it Sander? Was it Sander? Hey, leave her alone for a goddamn minute, will you? I don't know who it was. I never saw him before. This mean you're not gonna press charges? I don't want to press charges. I don't want to testify about anything. And I don't want to answer anybody's questions about anything. I am out of the civic duty business for good. tomorrow at this ROTC thing. I want everybody here tonight. I know exactly what we gotta do and how we gotta do it. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Sorry.
Anders. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. This is no one's fault except Sanders. Kids are starting to arrive. Where are the cops? What do they do? Get special training to never be where you need them? Relax. Go get here. This guy Bolin shows up. Kids start dying, and then uh, after a drive-by shooting, he just disappears. Maybe he was even in it with Sanders. You, you ever think of that? Oh, come on, Emmett. Why would he push me inside the house if he wanted me dead? I don't know. just disappeared. Looks kind of funny, that's all. To today. Who's in the mood for some good, clean fun? Yeah. Well, how about we get down and dirty instead? Yeah! Your ass is mine. This is yours. Okay. okay. This has to look like an accident, or I'm the first one they're gonna come looking for. She's pink. So you green guys attack her group with the paint guns. You pink guys hang back and don't get involved until Juan comes in and tells her that one of the players is injured. Then you pink guys make sure she ends up back here where we can do her quietly. Yeah! All right, all right. This is a referee. Anyone wearing orange is a referee. You shoot him, you're automatically disqualified. Understand? Yes, sir! Yeah! Good. We got it. When the siren sounds, the game is over. Don't make us come looking for you. All right? Yeah! All right! Use your brains. If someone tumbles to what's going on, cut their throat. No guns. We're the ones with the armbands below the elbow. Once we have these masks on, you won't be able to tell who's who. Green team, form at the hell fort! Go, go! go, 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 go. And the pink team... Watch your asses. <laughs> Let's do this. Pretty good, coach. Maybe you ought to teach the cheerleaders instead of me. I don't think so. My pom-poms are freezing those short dresses. Sheriff, come in. Where the heck are you? There's the sheriff back. Oh, yeah, the Fed? Forget about it. He's history. Car comes back as stolen. That federal man was thrown out on his butt for a violent insubordination and mental instability two months ago. I lost track of the battle droid last night. And it never came back to the boarding house. But the principal of the school says it's supposed to chaperone a group of kids this morning. Based on its behavior and previous M.O., this is a perfect opportunity for a mass kill. I'm at the location now. God help me.
hope you recognize the make of this gun. Because it's loaded with armor-piercing smart rounds. And not even you can survive a point-blank hit. Put your weapon down. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> I just don't want you to kill me before I have a chance to talk to you. The next time I ask, it'll be with this gun. I'll put the goddamn weapon down. What do you got going down there? Classic. High ground fortification. Limited access, maximum visibility. I bet you got this whole area booby trapped. You see, when I found out that you existed, I would have done anything to find you. Together, we are going to create an army of battle droids that I'm going to lead into mercenary history. You don't want to decommission me? The only remaining battle droid of the A-77 series? Absolutely not. I'm going to copy you. I have a mission to complete first. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Forrest was a genius. He even gave you a tattoo. trick in the book. I outflanked you, Jenna. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna outflank you, buddy. Whoa! Oh, 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 just wait a minute. Official business, really. How long do you think before I blow the whistle on this thing? I don't know. Maybe an hour or two. How'd you know it was me anyway? Check your butt. Oh. I always mark my territory. I always mark my territory, too. Stand guard till we get back. You know you're supposed to stop firing when you score a hit. Yeah, yeah, sure. And that you're never supposed to fire at a referee. Bring your weapons over here now. You're all disqualified. Your teams will be penalized. After all, rules are rules.
right up here. Come on. This way. Let's go there. Where? Right up here. Stay right there, Tom. What is it? Old Navy SEALs trick. Double blind tripwires and traps. The first one doesn't get you. The second one will. What the hell is going on out here, Tom? Right up here. Come on. This way. Right there. Go on. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, ah! Kill him, bitch. Ah! Cool. Let's just do this. Do it, man. Do it. Get it. in the air. Drop the goddamn guns. Uh, One, two, die, scumbag. I got him all, Mr. Kenzie. Run. Get out of here, man. Get him. Get out. Shut up. Come on, dude, man. What's happening out here? Sounds like a war. Who is it? Who is it? Jenna? Give me your gun. All right, man. Go round up the other kids, okay? Yeah. So much for making it look like an accident. Now we kill her and bury them both. you or what's left of you, you're under arrest. Miss McKenzie, how you doing? Well, go ahead. Pull the trigger. That'll solve your problem. <laughs> you go to hell, Sanders. You first. <gasps> You first. Come on, let's get out of here.
am an A-77 battle droid. My primary objective is to infiltrate and kill the enemy. Why can't I eliminate you? Because huh? you're not a battle droid, you sick shit. <laughs> to my son John, on the eve of his enlistment into the service, duty and discipline. No prisoners. It's from your father, Professor... Professor Forrest! You're his kid that went mental. <laughs> I am a battle droid. Get a fucking clue. Battle droids are kind of scratch-proof, Johnny. Human beings are soft. They can't take their punishment. They don't make good soldiers. You're right. They bleed too much. <laughs> You're not a droid, John. You're just a kid wearing K-33 body armor. Well... End of mission, Johnny. So you're wearing Kelvin's too, huh? Damn! G.D. Ash! failed my mission. I must die. Is that an attitude that your father would be proud of, John? We've both failed. We'll die together. You're right. You're right. You're right. I have failed. I failed. But I, I can do better. I know I can. I can't give up. I won't give up. We can't give up, John. We're soldiers. It's our destiny, John, to face insurmountable odds and overcome them, right? Right? It's our mission in life. The enemy is before me, around me, and yet no fear will I have. My mission is met. The night. The night I... The night will bring so much death. So many horrors born. On a river of blood. Called duty by men who compassion has scorned. The life I have wasn't mine to choose. But death will always be the shoes I walk in. I will stride the path in death's shoes until the mission I conclude. Death is my mission. The mission is met. Fuck your mission! right there inside that bunker. It was thousands of degrees in there. He burnt up completely. Instead of worrying about it, you should be glad that most of that ordinance was too old to explode or you'd be in big trouble with... I don't know if we'll see each other tonight. I have a long day ahead of me with this new remedial class I've decided to teach. 
And then my karate lesson. Oh, don't be silly. I'll be fine with this new class. They're just school kids. A little worse than most. But kids, really. After what I've just been through, nothing could faze me anymore. I'm on a mission, so to speak.